Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rosa Wells. My home YouTube channel is Rosa Wells Home Decor and More. Um, I have been missing in action um, for a minute due to that I end up um, having COVID and also pneumonia. Um, I caught COVID and pneumonia back in October and I was diagnosed with it um, October the 4th and I was away from work for over a month and maybe a, a week and a half. So I just actually returned back to work maybe a week before last week. So I've been at my job, back at my job for two weeks now. Um, and I just want to share with y'all guys, I'm telling you this COVID is no joke. It's no, no, no joke. That COVID is just like you are near death. Anybody who's been through it, they can tell you that it makes you feel like you are near death. And that's how I actually felt. I felt like I was just near death. I was just like near death. I would be in depression. I would be crying. You can't hardly talk. You can't eat. Um, you really can't rest because you're coughing. You getting up. You going to the bathroom. You running off. You can't stop running off. You can't eat. Because when I had it and the pneumonia with that, I didn't eat in two weeks. Two weeks. All I was doing is trying to keep drink fluid. 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 I can't drink it. I even try to eat food, but my taste bud, the food tasted just bland. It it, it just didn't taste right. Um, headaches. I had fevers, chills. Um just everything. Body ache. My head was hurting. My stomach was hurting all the time. It was just hurting like right there where my neighbor was. It was just just hurting. And it started that, but I'm thinking that it was just maybe something I ate. Um, upset stomach or something like that. So I would just get a gin red when I when it first started. And the gin red, it was selling, but it'll turn around later on, come back again or the next day. And I'm like, Mm, something, something just ain't right. And it kept going on for about maybe about two or three weeks. It kept my stomach kept doing. It. I said, you know what? Let me call Grady Hospital down and join the advisor nurse and let them know, hey, this is what's going on. So when I um, talk to her and let her know what was going on with my body and stuff like that, my stomach, everything. The first thing that nurse said, I need for you to get up the first thing Monday morning and go to an urgent care. She said, because it sounds like that you may have COVID. So, in the back of my mind, I'm like, I haven't been around nobody. I'm always wearing a mask. I'm always sanitizing my hand. I'm always washing my hands. I'm taking the clothes off wherever I be. I'm taking those clothes off and putting them in the washing machine. I'm washing them. I'm disinfecting them. And I'm just like, where can I have caught it from? And when I tell you guys, that was the most worst feeling. And when you're alone and people can't come to see you to help you, you actually get in depression because you're there by yourself. I was here in my home by myself. I was here actually here by myself. And I'm like, oh my God. I was just looking around. I couldn't go upstairs. I couldn't go upstairs. When, I'm right where my other lounge uh, sofa at right here by my um, step. Um, I couldn't even walk upstairs. I had, to, I had to actually sleep on my sofa in my living room. I had a bathroom down there. I mean, I 
oh my God, I just don't, I don't know how to explain it. It's just like you near death. Anybody who had it, they could tell you it's just like near death. I want to wish Kova on my worst enemy. I would. And when I when I tell y'all I was depressed the whole time that I had it, it wasn't for my brother, his wife, my daughter, my best friend, for me, my friends, me. It wasn't for them checking up on me, making sure I was okay. And dropping off stuff for me, like water, um, stuff that I could clean myself with. It wasn't for those people and those people and my boyfriend as well. He was coming over here. He was bringing me like aloe vera juice. He was bringing me water. He was everything. He would ask me that I want something to eat. I wasn't want nothing to eat because I couldn't eat. Like for two weeks, I couldn't eat. So I would just drink stuff, just drink a little stuff or whatever. And most of the time, I just want to sleep. And everybody was like calling me, checking me. And then when I get on the phone, I couldn't hardly talk. I was breathing like I couldn't catch my breath, my chest. I was coughing. I was throwing up. I was just, oh, my God. I'm, after I went through that, y'all, with that COVID and that pneumonia, I stayed off of work, no lie, from October the 4th. I didn't return back to work until maybe, let's see, this is my second week. The week before, oh, last week, I turned back to work. So I was out of work for about a month and maybe two weeks before I went back to my job. And before I went back to my job, they told me that I had to make sure I go back and my test would be neg negative. Then I could come back to work. And I'm just telling you, I got the, the most caring uh, friends and uh, family member, loved one, boyfriend, daughter, all of that. They stuck with me and they checked up on me all the time to make sure that I but you here, baby. Had my brother brought soup. My friend called me. She was like, get up. I need for you to walk. I need for you to do my daughter to say, hey, mama, do you need anything? And stuff like that. And my daughter wanted to come over here. And I was like, no. We, no, I don't want you to come over here. She was sad. She was crying. I was sad. Because at that time, you're by yourself and you're alone. Because you're like, oh my God. I got to isolate myself from everybody. Because... I caught COVID or I have this this issue that's going on out here in this world. When I mean, y'all, when I had that, once I got clear and my test result came back negative, I'm telling you guys, I went and took that shot. I went and took that shot. And I'm telling you, I went and took that shot. And I'm telling y'all, that's the worst thing that you, it's, I don't know, I can't describe it. It's just like, you're dying. And you got people who caught it, be up in the hospital for 90 days with it. I was in the hospital, not in the hospital, but I was at my home for over a month and two weeks. So over 30, 30 days plus two weeks. If you picked up some of them things, that's and you know how they say, oh, isolate like yourself for 15 days, whatever. These people going to tell me at the peak my urgent care, oh, they try to give me seven days to isolate to quarantine. When my brother said, he said, oh, no, you got to quarantine for 15 days. You can't go back, you know, whatever. It was more than 15 days, uh, more than seven days. <clears throat> it was over a month and two weeks. And I don't know why these doctors think that <clears throat> they could give you a certain time where they feel like your body can heal. Nobody knows anybody's body when they can heal, how they feel. Whatever. 
you know. And I just thank God for the stuff that I've been going through for the last um, couple of years. Since 2018, I had a stroke, several mini strokes. Turned around 2019. Um, I was working for a company. They let me go. I was working there for almost 20 years. They decided to let me go because of medical issues. Um, 2000, uh, 2020, furlough. The end of 2020, January, January 2021, I had surgery, vascular surgery. I've been doing so much, y'all. Then I turned around and the same year, when I went, finally went back to work, my doctor released me because I had to beg them to release me. I went back to work, turned around, and caught COVID and pneumonia. God had been with me when people try to tell you there's no God. There is a God. God been with me all the way. Because I be in my room. Sometimes I be in my bed and I'll just break out in tears. And I'll just thank God. And I have to sit back and thank God because the one from God, I wouldn't have a roof on my head. I wouldn't have food in my stomach. I wouldn't have none of that. So I'm just telling y'all that's just my testimony, what I went through. And I'm telling y'all, I, I, I keep God in my life first. I pray. When I pray to God, I don't worry about nothing because I know God got a plan for me. And my ain't my plan, but the way God do things is different from what human does. And I just want to thank everybody that was there to support me the whole time when I went through the cover and the pneumonia and was sick. That supported me and called me and asked me to do I need something. They could order something. And this person was out of town. They was ready to order me some food and have it sent to my house. You know what I'm saying? I had my brother and his wife came over here just about every other day to check on me. They brought soup and they bought um, sanitary stuff and car box wipes and Lysol wipes. And they made sure I ate the whole time. My other friend, she made sure I got up in the morning, she was like, just try to get some strength and just open up all your doors. Because that's when it would start changing into fall and the weather was cool in the morning. She was just like, just open up your door and just out your house. And, and I would get up and with a week, I would sit back down and I went to my dining room. I would open up my um, back uh, patio door and just let that cool air just come through my house and just kill the germs or whatever. And I'm telling y'all guys, I went and got my shot. I got my, my, I didn't get the Pfizer shot. I didn't get the Johnson, but I did get the Moderma. It worked. The Moderma worked for me because when I did my research on the, uh, the Pfizer, if you um have, if you take blood thinner or blood pressure pills or anything like that, you cannot take it um, because it probably will make you have a stroke. I already have a stroke, so I definitely didn't take that. And if you had any, any heart problems, you can't take that. I have vascular problems. Um, and I um, did have blood clots. I had surgery in January. I had a stroke and seizures. So I didn't take the Pfizer. I took the McDermott. I did some research myself. My brother and his wife did some research, so that's the one they told me to take. And there was another one. I think they had a Johnson Johnson, and it was another one. But I did the Moderna. Moderna was pretty fair. Um, I did have, I did have some side effects. Like, um, I have after that, I took the Moderna, my arm was sore, and they told me to flat. Flap it up and down like you're doing a chicken wing to keep it from being sore. It right there, they tell you not to rub the site where they put it down. You can't scratch it, you can't rub it. But I did know that it would itch, so I would never, I didn't pay no attention on it. Um, it's, it was, it stayed sore for about 
maybe five days, about a week, and stay sore where that site was. It itched a little bit. And I did have fevers, a fever and a chill. So, otherwise than that, it did pretty good. I got to go back to get my second shot. Um, I got to go back to get my second shot, which is the 26th. That is Tuesday. So, I do got to get my second shot on Tuesday. So, yeah. Is it Tuesday? Yeah. Is it 26th? Yeah, I got to get my second shot on Tuesday. So, yeah. Um, November 26th, I got to go back and get my second shot of uh, Moderna. So, I just want to share that with you guys. And I also want to share you with, with uh, all as well Um, that I got stuff that I already had and I didn't show y'all because it was in my, like I told you, I have stuff that be in my trunk and bag stuff. I have to took it out and... I have about months ago, I didn't take it out, and then also stuff that I just re got, and one of my friends got, gave me some stuff when I was sick, like a, um, you know, get real um, gift, so I like to share that with y'all guys, um, yeah, with, I like to share that with y'all guys, so that's my story on that, okay, let's get to the haul, um, I just want to share y'all what I got from Goodwills. Um, but I've had this stuff for a minute. Um, and like I said, it was riding in my car, and I had, and I decided to take it out my trunk, cleaning out my trunk. Okay, the first item I want to show you guys. I got this cute little woofing well flower stand. I'm going to say it's a flower stand. Yeah, because you could put flowers in it and stuff like that. This was $8.99 at Goodwill. It's gold. But this part is like a wolfing pattern. But this one is like metal. And it's gold and it's wolfing. Wolfing. And the legs me, are made like this. Y'all can see the legs. And I thought this was cute. And you could you could just put it up in the corner somewhere. And put you some flowers in there. Kind of like, uh, let me see. Let me get some because, yeah. You can put some flowers in there it's good for the holidays. You could put something like that in there. You know, but it's going to stand up a little taller. You could put probably a, a piece of foam right there and just stick them up so they could sit stand up taller. And I thought that was cute. I'm going to put this over here. And I also got a wall piece right here that you can hang on your wall. And it got the little flower rotary up here. It got the little leaves like the sticks up there and this one was $4.99 this was $4.99 at your Goodwill and I'm thinking to use it for like uh, when I get my mail or something and um, I don't look at my mail right then and there I just put my mail right here in the junk mail I put it right here if I could just throw it in the bag rip it up and throw it in the bag so that's what I think I'm going to use this for or if I don't use it for that, um, I could also hang it in one of the bathroom and maybe just roll up some towels. You know what I'm saying? So I'm thinking about doing that. This is was once again, like I said, four ninety nine. I thought that was cute. I also found the vase. It's more like it's green and gold. I found this vase. I thought that was cute. This was at Goodwill too. This was four ninety nine. I don't know if y'all can see it. Yeah, that was four ninety nine. 
Yeah, this is four ninety nine. I thought that was pretty. It's gold green. It's like a. I don't. I I would say metal, but I don't think it's metal. But I thought it was cute. It got a little brown and gold and green in it. I thought that was cute. You like I said, you also would throw in a, a flower like that in there, and you could set it up somewhere because I'm getting ready to start doing my little Christmas stuff. You can set this up somewhere. That's pretty. Also, I got, I found this as well at the local Goodwill. I thought that was cute. That could be a real good table or scape or something that you could put on your table and you could decorate it as well. And I also, I'm looking at they got the grapes and the leaves on there. I think that you also could put like fruits and stuff like that in there. Because you know the holidays, y'all remember when we was coming up, our parents would buy the big bag of fruits and the pecans and stuff like that. And you can put that in here as well. That's a good table decoration. Or you can use for a table decoration. Like even for um, Thanksgiving or the holidays. Like Christmas, you could use this. So I thought that was cute. And I like how the design was. And this right here was um, $1.99. This right here was $1.99. I thought that was a good deal. Okay. Let me show y'all something, too. Over here, I got to get up. I know I'm tacky, y'all. I'm at home. It's late down here in Georgia. I also got this at my local Goodwill. I got that at my local Goodwill. This was $5.99. I got two of these. So both was $5.99. And I got this at my local Goodwill. This is a wall art. They sell these guys. Y'all remember they used to sell these at uh, Burlington and Raw. I found these at, they used to sell these at Burlington and Ross, I think, for $29 for both things. Or I think you have to buy one of each. I think that's how it was. And it was like probably like $29 or something like that. I actually got these for $5.99 a piece. So both of these together was $10. And I think that was cute. And it got, as, as for me and my how we will serve the Lord. And then it's. It said, love one, an love one another, John 13, 3 through 4, bless our home, and everything gives thanks. So, yeah, and the other ones say the same thing, but it just got, they got the blessing on top, they got this second, then they got this third, and then the other one last. So, it's, it's the opposite. So, I like this. That was five ninety nine. Hold on a second. I to get my cover. I call to get money added to my social security check. Call. Check your zip Okay. Don't miss the deadline. Call. My next thing that I got, I'm going to have to move some stuff. I got these two mason jars or vases. They didn't have the top. I'm trying to figure out why they didn't have the top, y'all. But they didn't have, they didn't have the tops to, to them, but I love them. And I'm going to do um, a decoration. And, um, I, you know, since I've been missing the action due to the COVID pneumonia, I really got to put some videos out. Because I normally used to put, um, weekends, I normally used to put at least two to three videos out. The same night, and I that might as well upload less than an hour because I'm actually recording from my phone. Um, I got this vase from Goodwill. I actually got two, one of them, I don't know what happened. I picked it up up here and it chipped, so I got to get some even some hot glue or some crazy glue, and I think I'm gonna um glue it back. 
So this right here was $9.99 for both $10. And I got this from my local Goodwill. And I think that was so, so, so pretty. I like that. And both of them are the same. I will be decorating this. And I'll probably do it. Ooh, I don't know. I'm thinking about doing it for my Thanksgiving thing. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not for sure. And my next thing I got to show you. I got to show you some wall units I also got from Goodwill. That I actually got from Goodwill. And y'all also see, see these at um, Home Goods. Y'all also see these at Ross and Burlington. I got these at the local Goodwill, what I go to. 